and welcome back to another rip roaring edition of we what hi and today we're going over a very special lesson of hey guy if you order something through a subscription box service and you only want one of those boxes you should cancel the service after ordering the first box well i did so we got a second tokyo treat box the same people that brought us the awesome halloween box we did last episode so we're going to check out some traditional Japan treats. And I'm gonna make sure I cancel my subscriptions. Smart one. But before we get into the video today. <laughs> Hi, bye. We just wanna thank you all for joining us. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave us a like if you enjoy. And if you don't Please. like it, tell somebody you don't like so they can come and be tortured by what you hate. Let's not do that. Then let's get on with the box. Let's, let's do it. So just to off camera here, I have the box of treats and I'm just gonna blindly grab something and throw it at Caitlin. And then we'll start with that one. Throw it at me? What? Well, I caught it, so. <laughs> we'll show it to the people. Oh yeah, so I don't know, I don't know what I threw at you. Kobe? I'm not really sure. Kobe Katsi Plum and Bonito flavor. Made by slowly frying the thick cut chips for an extra crunch. Ooh. Looks like lace. So it's plum? These look pretty good. They look just like Lay's. They smell like Lay's. They're so crispy looking. Cheers. Mm hmm. I taste the plum. Yeah. It, I feel like I'm eating a crispy plum. Like it's even kind of juicy in a weird way. It's just weird in a chip flavor. It is. I mean, like, refreshing. I just, I just had kimchi for the first time and the kind of sourness at the end reminded me of kimchi. I'm not mad, like I could snack on these. It's a sour, so you probably want something sweet with it. I could do it. The more, I feel like the more I eat it, the more I get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had butter hands, you gotta prepare myself. Yamato turtle cracker. These are just uh, turtle crackers and enjoyed by Japanese people for ages. Their sweet and salty flavor and crunchy texture makes them a popular so snack like all year round. <clears throat> does it? Yeah. Ooh, that does smell pretty good. Ooh, and look how look how crunchy it looks. They're a little like so crunchy. My hands are shaking. We just did yard work, and for some reason my hands shaking. Cheers. Yep, caramel popcorn. It's like almost like burnt caramel popcorn. Yep. But it's not bad. It's very subtle. Bugles. That's what it tastes like. Bugles. <laughs> it tastes like a caramelly bugles. Charizard, I know you love bugles. Yeah, burnt bugle. So if you're wondering why we haven't posted a video in almost a month, after we posted our Halloween video, Caitlin got sick for about a week and a half or so. And then immediately after that, I got sick for about two weeks. Actually flip that, you were sick. No, you were right, I'm wrong. Keep going, ignore me. And then we both got tested for COVID. Neither one of us have COVID. So thank goodness we're healthy, but it took us about three and a half weeks to finally feel better again. And we wanted to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And I tested, but I tested positive for the antibody. So she's had it at some point. I didn't give it to her. Whatever. But we're we're good. We're here. So thanks for sticking with this. Next up. You ready for it? I'm racing myself. I don't even know how to throw you. Well, why don't you look at it? <laughs> Onion taro. All the best veggies come out in autumn. This corn treat is a light snack with a rich and savory onion flavor. A super addictive Japanese snack. I do love onions. Ooh, they're like little balls. Little Cheeto puffs. They're poofs. They're onion poofs. Mmm. Mm-hmm. No. Mm -mm. It's funions. It's poofy funions. Mm-mm. You don't like that? Nope. Just look, look how light and airy those are if the zoom even works. Come on, focus! It's not gonna focus. Your hand's shaking. It really is. That's probably the Use issue. Use your other hand. But yeah, these are man, these are good. Yeet 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 yeet. Woo! Oh. Potato Fried fries. potatoes. Ever wonder how Japan takes on American treats? These salty snacks replicate the salty flavor of fries in this tasty snack. It'll have you saying, you want fries with that? Potato oh, sticks. Oh. Yeah, potato sticks. I'm down for these. Cheers. A little potato stick. Yep. Hmm. They're like. I can do these. They're not very salty. Nope. There's almost no salt on them at all. Oh, let me try some. Because there's, there's a trick you do with Rippos to get more seasoning on. You're supposed to open them upside down to get the flavor, because the flavor sits at the bottom. I'm gonna shake this real quick. Because maybe the flavor is set. No, they're just not salty at all. What's your favorite been so far? Probably the potato sticks. Really? Yeah. It's the onion balls for me. Mm. No, go ahead. No, 
No, I want to hand it to you nicely. I don't know what is on that. I don't know. Sweet potato osatsu crackers. The sweet and light cracker is the treat. You need to try this autumn inspired by Japanese sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Ooh, that's so colorful. I want to show them before we take them out of the bag. I don't know if autofocus will work or not. Oh, it is working. Look how sweet those look. <laughs> those look so cool. I feel like I gotta take one of each color. What does it say these are? They're sweet potatoes. Okay. Sweet taters. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Hold on. The crackers have two different flavors. The first one. But you probably put the two together. It's a sweet potato. The first one, the first cracker is like kind of buttery. So that's the inside. Mm-hmm. And then the purple is probably also. And then the purple one is a sweet tater. Man, that's good. I have a new favorite. Uh oh. Where did I hand you? Anji curry chips. Everyone loves curry in autumn, and Japan is famous for curry. So they put them in a chip and then made it in stick form. Ooh. So we can enjoy it. Yeah, it smells like curry. Oh, mama. I'm so glad to be able to smell again. A little, little new nose. A little new nose. Mmm. Yep, that's curry. It tastes just like ramen house. Yeah, like the ramen house curry we had. It has a little, ooh, you feel, you feel the bite yeah. at the end. Yeah, it's kind of snug. It's like curry, it just kind of sneaks up on you. Woo! I'm Got all about it. that. Oh, still. Now you feed me. I thought we were going to be like Lady in the Tramp in it. Meow. Look at that. You think we should show them? Sure, go ahead. Oh, am I? Okay. Yep, you are. It's that one. I, think. I know. Ha ha! Don Don Yaki Kimichi flavor. Let's bring a little bit of spice to our autumn with this Japanese and Korean treat. The tasty bite sauce Kimichi flavored cracker has a tasty crunch, texture, and gentle spice to warm you on chilly autumn days. Ooh, kimchi. That's the thing I just tried the other day for the first time. I really liked it. Thank my that. hand will not stop shaking. So this is my hand right now. <laughs> I'm. I don't know why we were doing yard work and my hand just won't stop. I think it's muscle stress because I haven't worked out in like three weeks. Stop it. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's what they look like, the little puffs. Mm hmm that's good. It reminds me of kimchi. What's kimchi then? It's like, um, if I'm wrong, don't don't come after me in our webs. It's, um, it's like, like pickled something. I don't know, I'll put the description here. Okay, now everybody knows. Okay. <laughs> oh, this looks like just a bag of broken ramen. A um, little boxing guy on it. Ramen shop snacks. These crunchy ramen snacks have an addictive chicken flavor and crunchy texture that will have you hungry for more. But if you want to try them in different, in a different way, try adding hot water to them. Yum. Dude, I wish we read that earlier. Would have boiled some hot water. Oh. Yeah, it's it's tiny. Oh. Yeah, they're like little. Try to show you guys. But yeah. Like little. There's little pieces of ramen noodle, like dry noodle. Cheers. Dry ramen. I ain't mad at that. I, I actually like that. Like whenever I make ramen at home, the excess pieces of dry ramen that don't go into the boil, I eat like chips. I think that's why I don't like dry ramen is because I don't like chow mein. Chow mein is so good though. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a harder noodle. It's like a little, it's a little al dente, you know? Come here. My dog wants to say hello. Hello, Charizard. It's called caramel taro. It's a sweet things are the best thing to eat. When the weather gets colder. Oh, this is autumn themed. Well, yeah, hence the leaves. Hmm. Hmm. I thought this was just random. Well, it's still November. It's just, it is. We have one more day. Well, by the time this comes out, it'll probably be December. So happy yeah. December, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Unless, unless I can get it out in like the next 24 hours from recording it, which I might. You know what? Happy November. It's going to be out in November. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I'll do it. Oh, they're peanut peanut shaped. That's cute. What did, I forget. I didn't hear what you said about these. They're caramel. Peanut shaped caramel corn. Yeah. What in the world is... Wait, is cheese this actual cheesecake? Did they send us cheesecake? Cheesecake Kit Kats. Did they send us cheesecake? Cheesecake Kit What in the world? Yeah. Kit Kat oh. Japanese cheesecake. It's all lovely inside. What's going on? Cheesecake here? is super popular here in Japan, and we wanted to share it with you this autumn in Kit Kat form. The Ooh. cheesecake flavor is boosted thanks to the cheese powder and a hint of salt in the water. I gave you 12 of them. They gave us a whole bag. It's crazy. There's yours. 
Cheers. Cheese cake. Yeah, it's like white chocolate. No. I don't like it as much as the um, peach apple pie one. The apple pie one. The yeah, apple pie one. That was really good. This, I don't really know what to think of it. It just tastes like cheese. Yeah, like and you don't cheese, like cheese and white chocolate. That's all it tastes like. Yeah. I don't even taste the salty they were talking about. Me neither. Hmm. That's a disappointment. Oh, this looks like Grandma Duncan on some people. Actually, I'm not sure what's going on here. Machi Tar Taro. Moon viewing is a spot is a popular autumn pastime for Japanese people. And you know what goes great with moon viewing? Machi, what? of course. Oh. The gentle saltiness of the fried machi treat is perfect for some relaxing time, watching the time go by. Now, you don't like normal mochi. Mochi, machi. You don't like no, the normal no, one. No, I thought I would, ooh, ooh. Because you almost got sick when we had it at one time. But maybe you'll like this since it's like fried pieces and they look kind of like one we've already had. A little, looks like little a right crumb. Looks like a crouton. Yeah, I can do this. It doesn't even remind me of mochi, really. Kiki, get your butt out. Okay. That's a cheese stick thing. Basically a cheese stick thing. Probably styrofoam. This is a treat for all of our cheese lovers. The crunchy corn stick flakes. Favorite. Mmm. I can't pronounce that. I apologize. Mmm. That um abio has a rich cheese flavor that is popular in Japan among kids and adults alike. There we go. It breaks pretty easy. Looks like a giant Cheeto poof. Yeah, we've had this I think once before. Yeah. Didn't we have like a pizza one or something? Yeah, we really liked it. Cheers. Yep. It's a giant Cheeto poof. Mmm. Yeah, we have one like this, it's pizza. I'll tell you, I love the cheeses Except that the other countries use on their cheese snacks compared to like American snacks. Because American cheese snacks, they taste processed. Well, like this just tastes like straight up cheddar. Like mm -hmm. good cheddar. I could do that. Mm -hmm. I only sent us one. That's rude. And they're not as, like, I don't know, like messy like they are here, like eating their curls. Oh, yeah, that's true. Next up, we have a ding from Japan, and it looks like it's coffee in a can. Coffee in a can. Focus! So this is Dido X Demon Slayer Sweet Coffee. Have some energy to fight the demons. Or no, not have some, need some. Need some energy to fight the demons. Features one to 12 different characters on it. Okay, cool. I've never watched Demon Slayer, but I think I might actually look into it. It looks interesting. There's like demons and slayers. Mm. Do you have to shake those? You might not want to. Let's see what happens. I hope it doesn't explode. Please don't explode on me. Oh, it didn't explode. Nice. Ooh, all right. We're gonna get a nice little some poor footage here. There's the glass. My hand shaking. Oh, that's. That's scary that my hand is shaking like that. I don't like coffee. Oh, whoa! That smells like straight coffee. Well, it is a coffee beverage. Ooh, yeah. She is. She is. Whoa, whoa. Woo. Oh man, that is so good. I'll take the rest of yours. That nope. is so good. Look, it's gone. That is so good. I want more. Oh, there's a little bit left. Is there? No, there's not. The can's just heavy. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Pokies. What kind of pokies are these, honey? Let's see what kind they are. This fresh fall exclusive snack is one of our favorites. The classic sweet pokey milk chocolate coats a fragrant pretzel base made with cultured butter. That cultured makes this pokey butter. extra creamy and indulgent soaked butter. It's butter. They put butter in it. <laughs> what makes this so good? We put more butter in it. That sounds great. <laughs> Can I get that pokey with extra butter? There's your pokey. Here's my pokey. Haha. <laughs> pokey fight. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna try just the stick now. It's like a, it's like a butter cracker. The cracker reminds me of the cheese cracker dip stick thing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have, it looks like a Swiss roll with some weird cream inside of it. So I'm gonna call it the weird cream Swiss roll. Okay. It is Uncle Pierre's roll cake. The rich and creamy flavors in the Uncle Pierre's roll cake will have you thinking of home. Well, we're already home, so let's see if it has us thinking about our home. Oh yeah. Little, little roll cake. You don't like roll cakes, honey? I'll take this over the foam. The styrofoams? What kind is it? 
Uh, I don't know, I just say creamy. Sweet and cream. Probably just sweet cream. Sweet cream. Yep. No, oh, there's a sweet cream. That's good. Mmm. Kind of salty at the end. A little bit. Tastes like a Swiss roll. Mm hmm. Swiss roll with sweet cream. And new, we have this little angel baby looking thing Constellation Cocoa Treats. Crunchy chocolate and biscuit. Oh, that's so cool looking. Look how detailed this is. That is cute. I think you're gonna think it's like a Keebler cookie. I don't know if it's gonna focus in on it. Oh. Focus. Do it. Trust me when I say it's cute. It has a cute little thing on it. Oh, broke it. There you go, hon. Cheers. Yeah, Keebler cookie. Keebler cookie, yep. It's a nice chocolate nut biscuit. Mm -hmm. Our last one. And oh, once no. again, we want to thank you guys so much for joining us now that we are back in normal operation operation mode. Operation. Operation mode. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. As you've already mentioned. And then, uh, you know, love us. Because we love you. Please. Especially you. Share the holidays. I know you. Spread the holidays. Share spread, the holidays. Spread the holidays. Coconut sable cookies. Ugh. These cookies are the must-try Japanese treat of autumn 2020. Their crispy biscuits are made with plenty of sweet potato. Ooh, I love sweet potato. An elegant Japanese chestnut paste. All right. Never had chestnut paste that I'm aware of. We did have that weird mystery thing. How about? He's watching you. Hey, what's up? You can't have none. You can't have none of this. We done, we done discover what happens to you with table scraps. Yeah, you don't do too well. No, too dummy. Oh, there you go. Ooh, these are very interesting looking. Cheers. I like crackers. I like little sprinkles on the top. Mm -hmm. Light, fluffy, airy, sweet. This would go amazing with hot chocolate. Yeah, maybe. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you, Tokyo Crate, for another awesome snack. And I'm so sorry I had to cancel, but I can't afford to keep having so many of these show up in my door. Right. So tune in next time. But we try some more things. And do things. And do things. And have bugs. How about? Yeah. They just want attention. Mm -hmm. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.